This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, I am uh, Mike Sorg at Sorg Sean on the Twitter, and this is uh, 685 Tuesdays. I hope that number's right, that we've been talking about professionalized wrestling. And we are live from Pit Fight 2, back-to-school beatdown at the University of Pittsburgh, Greensburg campus. Don't go to the wrong one. Don't knock on the wrong door like I almost did. Uh, but we got a crew with us. People are uh, getting ready for the show on the other side of the camera. We're actually right by the entrance. So And, and yeah. so we started a little late, so I think people are going to be walking by um, as we <laughs> get going with this. But we got, of course, with us, the Riz. Hi, I'm back. He was on the way. I was on the way. <laughs> it's just like, Riz, I'm coming to your house. Yeah, you you just passed me up and said, I was like, you're Riz, coming to wrestling now. And Riz, like, you're going to well, be on the podcast because we're, we're driving by your house. So it was a drive-by. We didn't stop. We well, opened we the door. Stop. He jumped in. That we, we actually stopped at Sheets. Though. Okay, we did stop at we Sheets stopped afterwards. At Sheets, which is, which you know, is it's it's we had to stop at Sheets, but, well, you know. As you do. Here, right? And, yeah. of course, with us, he's on the show tonight. Hey. Hashtag book Ronnie. He's booked tonight, sir. Uh, he is the uh, uh, Triforce champion, the Black uh, the, uh, Fight Roll Society. Public. Look at us. Triple Look crown at champion right Look there. At Look at it. Oh, he's right on it, and he yeah. is with us. Ronnie Sarks, how you doing? Good. How about you guys? I'm doing good. good. <laughs> I can hear the belt on the table. Yeah, yeah, I just <laughs> So if you're on audio, it's like, this is what a belt sounds like. It's uh, about 10 pounds heavy there, everybody. Sorry. 10 pounds of gold. Um, but uh, we got eight. What's up, Billy Johnson? What's up, Alex in California? Of course, this is your Wrestling Mayhem show. This is gonna. This is still the regular Wrestling Mayhem show. We're just not in the studio. No. And there's only one camera, and I'll put the graphics in later. Yeah. Uh, but you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where you can find links and subscribe to us in podcast and video form, or look us up on your favorite platform. Ask your voice device uh, to uh, listen to the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast. I may have to set up your tuning or something, but it's kind of cool to get up more. I'm like, let's listen to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's Wednesday morning. Morning, uh, Miss A Word and uh, Miss A Train, and uh, not to be confused with Mister A Train, that was yeah. Prince Albert, uh, that now trains at NXT actually. So it all comes around to wrestling. Uh, email us good times, good, good times. times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com four one two two zero six WMS zero is the hotline. Tweet us at Mayhem Show, Facebook Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey, I did you get my email? Group. Did I get your email? Did Last we? week, yes, the one that said butts, 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 because we were trying to fix the email. By the way, if you want. Email Riz is a butt at wrestlingmamshow.com. You can it do will, that it and it will work. There. And I'll forward that to him. Uh, also, boo, 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 you can uh, hit us up. We're usually, when well, we're not here on location. Oh, I hope this background music doesn't take us off Facebook. Yeah, uh, <laughs> here yep. we go. Demonetize. Here we go. Should we Demonetize. Turn the music off? It's fine because they're going to be turning it up. But, um, anyways, you can check us out again, usually live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. on Facebook Live at the Wrestling Mayhem Show and other platforms. Um, if you're catching us later on one of our Let's hit us up the hashtag WMS uh, six. Uh, what did I say? Eighty five tonight. Wow, week. We're, um, we're professional. Well, producer Missy's over there talking to people, so Hi, Missy. you know. Hey, and here is producer Missy happening um, going on. What's that? Would you like to talk to a nerd? Uh, give me about t- give me about ten minutes. About ten minutes. Yes. Uh, also. We are we are live producing the show. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, thank you to our Patreon supporters, ah. patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, including the fan of the show, one dollar level, Bo Diggity! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Bobby FJ Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammer Fist, Pocky Club, five dollar level, our friends at Brad, uh, Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, <laughs> Dave Bodner, Cal Turner, and Daniel Towery at the Pizza Club $13 level, $10 level, uh, yep. Ryan Clark and the manager at $20, OccupyProWrestling.com. You guys support the show too at Wrestling Mayhem, I'm sorry, Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. So guys, there's been some wrestling this week. Wrestling. You don't say. Uh, I un- <laughs> Riz has watched everything. I've watched everything. Uh, you, you get a little closer to the mic there. Sure, I'll get, I'll get closer <laughs> now. I'll get really close oh, to the shit. microphone. No, now. no, 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 too close. Too close. Okay. Back up. Hey, okay, Claire. 
Just, just, uh -huh. uh, just do what I do here. Okay, that's good. Um, but anyways, uh, so let, let's let's start that's with my the, table. It'll be fine. Let's let's start <laughs> with the Wednesday night. <laughs> They're trying to steal Ronnie's table that's next door. Do we even have everything. merch, bro? Uh, we have stuff and things. We have stuff and things. We'll yeah. see how that goes. It'll be fun. Um, it's our table now. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> um, uh, so we have the Wednesday night wars. Christy, do you want to come on the show? What? Come on! Hand her that microphone on. over there. Put her on the end. It's on. There you go. There you go. Producer Mr. Q. Oh my gosh, I feel go. so special. Hey. Of course, of course, of the Culture Pop podcast. It's uh, Chrissy K. Yeah. Uh, of Rise Wrestling with a Y. We got everybody on Rise here. Rise with a Y, yeah. So we were just uh, getting into it as we get you in the shot here. Uh, thank you, producer Missy. Um, but uh, I was just talking. We're talking about the Wednesday Night Wars. Did you see any of the Wednesday Night action? I did not. So I did not. You're missing see out. It. You're I missing know. out. Okay, yeah. this is where we tell you what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Catch me up. I want to know. So, so first, first question, and I've, I've said this on other shows. I went with AEW. I mm -hmm. actually finished. Wa I watched most of NXT as of yesterday. Um, what did you pick? What were your picks? Wh who did you watch live? If you watch live, or uh, I watched AEW live. Okay. And NXT afterwards. NXT afterwards. And that's the brilliance of the network as well. Mm -hmm. uh, AEW live and. Uh, and NXT right because we were, we're like we're like is like it going to be on right the app there. right yeah yeah so it, it was it they were smart NXT went with the 15 minute overrun so I caught the last 15 yeah. minutes when I was done watching AEW live yeah uh, it, it is so it does feel like back in the day doesn't it it does it like does. I feel like like it's 1998 and and we're there again mm -hmm. um so I, so what what kind of I mean both of them just went nuts with stuff Great matches on both shows. Uh, NXT, everybody kept saying NXT was the bigger, sh better show. Um, and I, I can't deny that. They had so many comebacks. Yeah. They had so much. Finn. Like, Finn, Finn came back. Uh, which uh, which I think is good for Finn. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, that's the best thing for Finn Balor. Get off the main shows and just work in the place where everybody loves his work. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget that Tommaso Ciampa came back too. Ciampa yes. came back. Plus, he got Johnny Gargano in there. Mm -hmm. um, like, it, there's like a really good play going in there, and, and, and it's enough going week to week, and nothing feels wasted. No, <laughs> with that, Not at all. you know. Um, so, uh, uh, from the, like, what, what kind of popped you guys for AEW? Jack Hager. Yes, Jack Swagger, Jack Hager. Yeah? yeah. yeah. No? No. It's, it's Swagger. Did you see his Lucha Underground stuff? No. Oh, dude. Was it, it, good? it was good stuff. So he's he's redeemed himself? He's redeemed years? himself. Okay. And we saw him uh, in the Meatful show last year, last year, and I couldn't believe how good of a time he was having. Yeah. Um, like, he was in the crowd. Yeah. Like, working everybody with a flag that, flag that night. Yeah, yeah. It and he was, was doing the whole, like, straight-up Jack Swagger gimmick. You know, uh, you know, we the people and everything. It was it was cool on AEW to hear everybody yell, "We the people!" Mm -hmm. yeah, from the crowd. I'm it was. A, I'm really excited about the stable. That mm -hmm. they yeah, that's a lot of good talent in one place. Yeah, a that's lot crazy. of random good talent. Yeah. So, um, and so I have a question: Did AEW like live up to the hype for you guys? Because I know it was getting some hype, and what, in your opinion, what do you what do you think? I think absolutely. Well, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Definitely did. I, 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 I mean, I don't, like, this is what I expected was, like, we're going to show you all these guys, you know, we have a little bit of something we build off of with the shows, the pay-per-views from the last, you know, what, six months, right? Okay. Um, and it, and we, they had surprises, they had, this is the kind of wrestling you're going to have. You had an amazing match between Cody and Sammy Guevara. Okay. As much as that pains me, I don't like Sammy. Uh, <laughs> I've been very public about that, and um, and but uh, that and Jericho just being amazing. Jericho, John Moxley doing a run in and throwing uh, 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 Kenny Omega, Omega. Th Kenny Omega through through a, a, a glass, a glass table? table that That's was crazy. in the, yeah. the VIP section off to the side. Apparently, there better be a VIP section when we go in. A couple That's weeks. right. Yes. They're gonna be here in a couple yeah. weeks, and I'm, I'm getting. I'm thinking I'm gonna upgrade to the VIP tickets because I might get a Kenny Kenny Omega in my lap. <laughs> so uh, maybe that's for the wife more. But uh, so, but uh, anyways, no, it was it's it was a really good show. Um, it was and it just seemed like the bigger of the shows, right? Mm -hmm. it, it it really did. It, it just you know, NXT is amazing, but it's in a sound stage, and I think people, I think when people look at primetime wrestling, they're gonna notice that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that's the biggest detractor. Uh, but anybody that gives it a minute is gonna uh, be interested in that too. Okay. So. 
Um, Very cool. So I just want good wrestling. I, we got a lot I, I, of it. That's, that's, I, that's all I want. Yeah. That's uh, all I want right now. Hey, well, it going? looks like you're having some good choices. Like, it's yeah. just exploding even more. Absolutely. So, um... Even so I've said you like five times already. What? Yeah. That's how I messed up. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> by that, I mean I'm not sorry at all because you're terrible. Wow. Oh, Just wow. having like drive-by oh, handshakes. Wow. That was thanks, a hand. That was thanks a hand for stopping by. I'll beat you again next time. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, that oh, that, you guys did take the belt from him. I did. That's wow. right. <laughs> that was a month ago. Yeah, that's so. I forgot about it. Oh, yeah. Fight cool Society shorter. this Friday. Like, look for, look for that on the oh, internet. Oh, wow. So. Bitter, bitter. Uh, <gasps> look who's coming. Hey, it's my, coming. Hey. It's my favorite right. nerd. This is this is rather appropriate. We're here on the, the University of Pittsburgh Greenberg oh. campus. Lewis the nerd. We've been trying to get you I love locked guy. down. Between all your math league competitions, it's been hard to schedule you for the Wrestling Mayhem show. I know. It's just so many math league competitions going on. A lot of time in the lab. Lots of time taking care of my turtle. I mean, Franklin, <laughs> he, he needs a lot of care. He, he pees and poops in that water. That's not good. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, you know, that's me on a bad Saturday night, too. <laughs> that's me after I eat Taco Bell, but that's another story. There you go. Know. There you go. Uh, it's one of those on the way. Hope you didn't stop. Uh, so, Lewis, how you doing? We're at Pit Fight here. What's going on tonight? Well, this is actually my alma mater. Oh, I, really? I graduated from this exact school. So you, you, you've you been nerding up these halls for years. I've been, yep, I've been getting wedgies and... <laughs> Again, wet willies all down these halls. <laughs> Never missed a class. Never missed Never a class. Never missed a class. That's more important. Yep, 4.0 GPA. There you yeah. go. Very nice. What's that one? Uh, magna Clumade. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to announce you as that? Is that uh, coming out tonight? Oh, we got another well, guest. Okay. Oh, oh. Well, that's know, just you might, inappropriate. You might have seen that's the finger nice. of uh, Christian that's Noir. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 he's got, oh, he's oh, got the, oh, he's oh, got the oh, chair up. Something, something's happening. He's got happening. the chair. He's got the chair. Bring it back. We're live. Hey, you know what? It's good to see. If nothing else, Lewis the Nerd is a nerd that's uh, not afraid to fight back. That's right. Because you cannot let bullies take over your life. That's right. The only way you can take care of them is to stand up to them. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I just went to my teacher and said, tell him to stop bullying me. Perfect. <laughs> that's it. Did that Perfect. work for you? No. That's it got awesome. worse, but <laughs> look where I am now. You know, what they say? <laughs> you know what they say, Lewis? They don't like a tattletale. No, they don't. They don't like tattletales, indeed. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So what do they got you lined up for tonight? Well, I'm going to be involved in the Pitt Greensburg Gauntlet match. Excellent. The winner of this match will take on the Pit Fight Champion, which is Gory. And all the competitors, I got this memorized. David Lawless, the Rev Ron Hunt, Chris LaRusso, Christian Noir, uh, Matt Connor. And there's one more. Someone help me. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see the graphic. <laughs> I haven't seen the card yet. Zeke Mercer? <laughs> I haven't left. I was distracted Zeke? by Zeke. Is it Zeke? <laughs> it's not Zeke. It's not Zeke. Zeke Squad in the no, house. Nobody by wants the way. Zeke involved. It's not Zeke at all. No. <laughs> Lee Moriarty. Hell there you go. Hey. There you go. I cannot forget so Lee Moriarty. No, no. The, but if uh, I have to face him tonight, I mean. It's gonna be a battle. <laughs> My Tiger style you, versus yeah. nerd style. <laughs> so we're just talking about the Wednesday night wars. Have you paid attention to anything going on in that? Wednesday night the wars. The Wednesday night wars between AEW and NXT. Oh yeah. I spend so much time in the lab that it's been it's been hard to keep up. Mm. But Finn Balor coming back, mm -hmm. that's big. That's big for NXT. And also that ending to Hell in a Cell. Ugh. Uh -huh. Ugh. Yeah. The, the uh, red that lights. That doesn't help WWE very are, much. The red lights. I think uh, VC Steel, he's dancing off camera and very uh, lewd. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah. Get, yeah. get it on Great camera. Day. Get it on camera. Woo, woo, there you go. There you go. VC, yeah. oh. do you have some opinions you want to share? I have a lot of opinions. Uh, get uh, get a close old mic. First of all, I don't think a flat tax system really works. For oh, the, wait. Uh, that's not that's not this show. That's, oh. that's a different show. Oh, my fault. My fault. That's a different oh, show. Well, for people that have money like myself and Chris LaRusso, a flat tax actually works very, very well. <laughs> we got everybody This is a wrestling rolling. mayhem show? Right? This is a wrestling mayhem show right now. Yeah. Welcome to the tax mayhem show. The tax mayhem show. That's the worst show ever. <laughs> That well, we tried political mayhem for a few weeks. Political? Yes. yes. PMS. Oh, yeah. PMS. Oh, no, PMS. It was uh, BC and uh, Burt so you, you let. Well, actually, you know what? I actually would listen to that. So. <laughs> Just a couple so episodes here, floating out there. So here we are at Pit Fight. 
Uh, is anyone in the chat room right now? There is there's people in the chat room. Dave Potter is in the chat room. Matt Carlin's is up there saying hey. Carlin's down in front, you mark. Billy Johnson, <laughs> uh, uh, one of the Hi, Alex's. Billy, how's it going? One of the Alex's from uh, California that was just at Raw last night. Okay. Tina? What's that? Tina? Tina is not there. It is. What is? What time is it in California? It's like 3.30. Three get to work. <laughs> get to get, work. Get back, get to, back work. to work. <laughs> get back to work. Quit looking online. <laughs> For the love of God. We're interrupting you in the middle of the day. Chris, what's going on here tonight? What, what do they got you doing here at Pit Fight? Uh, there there's is the camera's a over here, by the way. Oh, there's, there's a big... Hey, hey there. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> okay. Uh, tonight, you know, uh, here for a good cause at Pitt Greensburg. I am in a big time gauntlet match where, of course, I will slap. The, you put your hand down. Where, of course, I will slap the daylights out of five other men to prove that I am the heir apparent, to prove that I am going to be the next pit fight champion. And what are you doing over there, I'm BC? I'm looking at myself in the camera. Jeez. There's, a, oh, there's <laughs> also a giant BC Steel announcement that tonight. A, uh, we'll, we'll find it out later, but I have big pit fight news. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Christopher Noir is here, and oh God, he's got a live mic. Oh I hate pit. I hate all college students. They're, they're all going to just end up working at McDonald's with their useless degrees. Lewis, you have a degree, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care what you got. I don't work at McDonald's. <laughs> he works at Burger King. There's a the difference. He works, he works cleaning his mom's house. <laughs> I want to try the Impossible Whopper. You need to. It's very good. It's yeah. very scientifically put it's, together. It I'm really afraid to. I, I don't know. No, it's like, it actually it's, it's, I mean, like I've, I've done the bean burger before, and it just it just, just doesn't work for me. I mean, you also have to take into consideration that they grill it on the grill with the other burgers. Oh, so, it just, oh so really the secret is you're getting um, um, adjacent all the essence burger grill essence mm. so yeah. it's not entirely like I'm not touching other uh, <laughs> non you know meat stuff it's just completely it's not exactly a veggie burger but it's uh, veggie burger nonetheless veggie yeah. burger veggie ish can we say veggie ish, veggie -ish? Veggie -ish. Yeah. okay so it's so that -ish. that's it's just, somewhat healthy I guess there are like like impossible hot dogs and stuff coming out too and uh, it's it's a hot dog is already impossible yeah let's be honest you don't, about you don't want to know what's in there those tacos are garbage do you have the Burger King tacos I, no you know, I haven't you know what had. I tried ordering Burger King tacos and my wife just said no I'm just no. like how are you denying me this food experiment out of all the weird <laughs> shit we've tried She's you're like right. you're not gonna stop me from a chicken sandwich on a donut at a KFC. We what? Did you try that? I have not yet. I'm just saying she's I not mean, going what? to. And I know she you, wouldn't. You didn't know that? What? You yeah. didn't know there's a KFC bur like, bur like an it's actual a chicken, chicken sandwich on, it's with like, donuts on it? Yeah, well, kind of like how it. this is. Well, <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. There's got to yeah. be one down the street, right? Can we, can we, can we, can we be on this podcast and talk about food the entire time? I, yes. you know, I would love to talk yes. about food Let's the entire time. Let's be honest about this. We were like talking about Joker last night. You know, I mean, especially the Monday night shows. I haven't seen that yet. So I heard it's really it's good. Really it's good. really good. Yeah, it's I just really watched, good. Uh, it's on Netflix now, Spider-Man Into the Spideyverse. Oh, it's so good. Oh, mm. so good. I go over to everybody and I go, hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Please do that thing in the ring. Just go up to one of your parents and be like, hey. hey. Yeah. <laughs> Blow them up. Well, Not to spoil anything. Lewis, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, when you're, when you're, again, when your Mathly schedule clears up, we're going to have to get you in for the Indie Mayhem show. Yep, that sounds awesome. Please. Sounds Excellent. like a plan. Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lewis Nerd, where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me online, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Just use the at sign, Lewis the Nerd. Excellent. I was lucky enough to have it for all my handles. So, yes. Thanks. Go check <laughs> them out. Thanks so much uh, for joining I, us. I have been Thank you guys. told by the boss that I have to leave. Oh, so. Ronnie, you got to go. Uh, I got to go work, I guess. You got need, you need you to, to go like, check on uh, 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 the, the safety of the setup over here. I mean, is, it, there, is it everything look, to code? I mean, I mean it, it looks school. secure, I guess. I mean, there's a okay. chair right in front of I the mean, there's no, I see no grave site. I see no. So, it's already better than Sunday. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. I, a, I see nothing getting broken. So that's, <laughs> that's, <also laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Well, All right, Missy's getting, giving me the Ronnie get the back now look. All right, so Ronnie. You can follow me on. Sorry, I just yeah, go you ahead. Off. Go ahead. Uh, you can follow me on the Instagram at the Ronnie Starks, or you can follow me on the Twitter machine at Starks Wrestling. I think that's my name. And then you can find me on the Book of Faces, uh, Ronnie Starks. Excellent. Go check them out. Thank you, Ronnie Starks, for joining us. Thank you, guys. Go keep Thank things you. safe out there. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Okay. We'll see how <laughs> it goes. I think, don't you have the main event tonight? Uh, 
Like oh, the, yeah. the actual Wasn't that main event. Announced? No, the main, main event. TME. <laughs> like the tall guys. Yeah. No, no, no. The I gotta make dudes. this for the the main event. Yeah, the tall guys. Yeah. The, those guys. For the first time ever, first the IWC ever. tag team champions versus the Triforce no, Triforce. <laughs> the triple crown the tag team champions of uh, Fight Society. There you go. <laughs> I almost said pit fight. No, you know, no, you know, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. That's so, not right. Okay, bye. Well, all right. Bye. Oh, oh, man, no. Producer Missy is kicking you out. <laughs> all right. So we are here at pit fight. Uh, the fans are uh, pouring in here. I think you see them off shot. Uh, so I see, hey, what's up, Toddy from the Thrifty Podcast? Hanging out in the chat room uh, and uh, and everybody else. Uh, Chrissy K joined us in the chat room, too, <laughs> after she joined us on the show. So uh, we got with us right now. They're familiar faces, and they are dressed to the nines tonight. They're, you guys are in Come promoter in. mode. Look at this. Wow. It's Kyle and Cornell of Pit Fight. What's Hello. up? What's Hello. up? Hello. What I remembered. Up? I got your name straight without having titles. That is impressive. <laughs> I applaud you. <laughs> you remembered. Uh, we're we're, we're low-key. We brought just bits of the studio tonight, but uh, this is it. We are now um, less than an hour from bell time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, how are you guys feeling? This is your second run. Is it Does it feel better than last time or just as stressful? Uh, personally, it feels better, but I feel like as it gets closer to bell time, like the stress will be building, but it's like that good type of stress, you know, like mm-hmm. where you know something good is about to happen. Yeah, I feel like an hour before the show is like where everybody wants to talk to you at once, so you're running all over the place, but like, I love the feeling. It feels awesome. (laughs) I'm so happy to be here doing this show again. Uh, I think it's going to be a good time. Excellent. Excellent. So um, we, we've, we've talked to a couple. We've talked to Lewis. I, we've had people stopping by here just in the for last several minutes. Um, you know, of course, I mean, they're all your baby. You guys booked the thing. But uh, what, 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 what match are each of you looking forward to tonight on Pit Fight? Gauntlet match. Mm-hmm. Gauntlet match. You're looking forward. To, I'm all obviously looking forward to the gauntlet match. Show. I think it's gonna be fun. But Gory and Remy for the title. Oh god, that that's gonna be that's, that's gonna be insane. insane. I wore my Gory shirt tonight, my classic Gory site, but I, compl- I completely got guac on it on the way here. So <laughs> I don't hope that's not a sign. And now you're wearing blue. Don't guac Gory. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I'm like matching everything. Mm-hmm. So. Um, excellent. So, uh, uh, and of course, this is, and we got people, of course, from California, from uh, Kansas City in the chat room right now. But people want to check out this later. I know Armstrong Cable's carrying the covering the video services, yep. and uh, I believe that's on there. They, they had it on the YouTube. I think you can see the first pit fight. Yeah, first now. pit fight's on there. Second pit fight will be on there after this. So excellent. Nice. So if you guys are not here, you can have that opportunity. Even <laughs> just go watch the first pit fight and see what these guys put together. Uh, was that back in May? Yeah, uh, March, March, uh, March. Yeah, it was March. It was March. Um, so definitely go check that out. And uh, tell us a little bit about the cause while we're here for tonight again. Well, the show tonight is going to Connor's Cures. So obviously that, that's a big wrestling-based Absolutely. charity in Pittsburgh. Uh, after Connor McKellick, he's inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame after mm-hmm. he passed away, unfortunately. Yes. Um, all the funds will go to that. Uh, raise money for pediatric cancer research. So. Excellent. Um, I know you should. I was trying to bring up the link here, but I know uh, you know. Of course, everything you guys are doing here are going to that. Uh, where can people go to um, if you got it off the top of your head? Uh, if they are somewhere else and want to contribute to this great cause, you can go to the V Foundation. They run the Connors Cure page, so I believe it's uh, www.v.org/slash Connor is the site that you can go to to donate. Uh, like I said, they run everything, and they're they're really nice people over there as well. There you go. And I got it. We'll uh, drop that in the chat room in the show notes for you guys as well uh, so you guys can donate to this hey it takes it, it takes a lot to get me like I said out of the comfort of my studio and a great cause like this is definitely one of those so I really appreciate that and I also appreciate not working this show so I can enjoy it <laughs> so, uh, but, um, anyway so uh, uh, so we, and again since we had you guys on real quick just general wrestling um, what did you it was an insane week of wrestling it was the highs oh. of highs and the lows of lows oh, yeah. across the board it's Received. Um, um, each of you, uh, what was your high of the week and your low of the week? Ooh, I think, a, okay, yeah, go first. See, my high and low took place in the same match. Because <laughs> my high was when The Fiend came out uh-huh. looking badass as ever. Oh, like, yeah. Like all decked out and everything. With and the, there was so much possibility, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they let him hold the lantern again. They let him, oh, the they let him hold the lantern. <laughs> they yeah. let him coming out with that freaky ass lantern. <laughs> I mean, they, they allowed him to hold his severed head, which was awesome. But the low, yeah. I mean, like, you just ended it two years in a row. 
ref stoppage and a oh. no disqualification. It was last year they did that? What was yeah, that? Yeah, when was Brock Lesnar came out and mauled uh, Roman and Braun. Oh, jeez. And then like, all that other stuff happened, and they're like, oh, we got to call it. It's like, it's no disqualification. Oh, what are you doing on. calling it in the middle of a Hell in a From Cell match? From the days of Kane, you know, and we decide we're going to call this stuff. It's like, you tell, you tell Mick Foley <laughs> that you... That you uh, disqualified somebody in a yeah. Hell in a Cell match. See how he would react. That's the discussion we had. And, and, and you know, what you can say, well, they kind of did call the match, but it just happened because Mick ran back in or whatever because it was a real situation happening. But that still sets the tone. Yeah. Right. You know, it, it just like, and they remind us of that match every year. Yes. <laughs> you know, especially when it was in Pittsburgh. Yeah, they especially when it in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. Riz has flashbacks. You were there that night. I was there. Yeah, I, I every time it brings up, I just bit butt in. You know, I was there. I was there one of the the, the fifty times that Mick Foley almost died. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, so, so there's your high and low. Uh, what about you? Well, oh, yeah. Uh, see, I'm in the same boat, but my high and low happened on Friday night in the same match: oh. Brock Lesnar versus Kofi Kingston. Oh, Poor geez. Kofi. What did he do backstage to deserve that beating that he got? Mm -hmm. One F5 in like, what, 12 seconds? The match was over. Like His that. boyhood dream, 11 years of buildup, crushed. And then suddenly Rey Mysterio, oh, cool. And it, I was an idiot. <laughs> when I first, when I first you saw it was Dominic too? Yes. Yeah. When I, first, yeah. <laughs> I saw a figure standing next to Rey. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, Dominic shaved his head. Yeah. Oh, cool. thank yeah. you. Every, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Who <laughs> didn't think that was Dominic coming out? I totally out? thought yeah. Dominic like, just shaved shit, his head. Shit, Dominic got badass in three days. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Like he, he stretched. Yeah. He stretched, got a chest I mean, tattoo. I, I knew uh -huh. he was. I, well, I thought he just didn't take his shirt off, and now we know. And then it just zoomed in. And the funny, I think the best part about that was that I was suffering from like really bad cold like symptoms during the entire night. Mm -hmm. I was just out laying on the couch. I'm like, ah, oh, Kofi, no. And then <laughs> Kane Velasquez comes out and I spring to my feet and I'm like, what? And then I almost pass out. You're like, is this a fever dream? I'm like, is this real? <laughs> Do they really exist? Yeah. Do they really exist? Oh jeez, um, it, it, you know, and as I said, what did Kofi do? He's not Cain Velasquez. <laughs> no, that's basically that's what it is. It. I don't think. I really, you know, again, we did talk this last night with Nick Ferrara uh, at length a little bit, but I just, I think when you do the math, you do the Brock Lesnar math. Uh, Kofi has to become Brock, uh, basically John Cena uh, after five years and three months. You're not getting there, you mm -hmm. know. And you can say this is like WWE's not giving those people enough chances. Yeah, you know, I mean, and hey, we got Kane. Sorry, you know, um, he's he's the Kevin o he's the Kevin Owens to uh, Goldberg Brock. He's the uh, uh, CM Punk to Cena Rock. Mm. You know, that's that's just where he is. And maybe he'll come back around. You never know. Yeah, but I mean, I, the, Kofi's not done. The, the, the part about SmackDown is they love to experiment. Mm -hmm. They love to experiment with their wrestlers. Mm -hmm. Because not only do you have Kofi Hopefully they still do, because remember there's some new management there. There, there is some new management. And they're on Fox, so now they have all true. the focus. But there, remember this, the... Uh, you Oh, got you. All, right. all right. Oh, you all guys right, are being have called to away. This guest oh, you guys, short. business. You guys got business to do. You gotta make sure the show's running smoothly. Thanks, thanks, guys. Go kill it out there. Uh, I, I'm saying this as if you guys have a match. I don't know. Maybe you do. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Do. I haven't maybe seen the gauntlet. I, I, don't, I don't know what's planned. Uh, so Billy Johnson says best on, best of luck on the show tonight. Thank you, Billy. Thanks, Billy. All right. All right. Thank you so much again. Here at Pit Fight, the back to school beat down. The mics are getting beat down a little oh, bit. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, it's all right. Hanging out with Riz, producer. Hi. Missy is making sure uh, Hi, everything Missy. is running smoothly here, and uh, as the fans well, you know are rolling in here. Uh, uh, but like I was like I was saying before, mm -hmm. SmackDown loves to experiment with their champions. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, I remember the B team was SmackDown. The B team were, were champions raw? for were a bit. Raw. Uh, it could have been Raw. I think, I, it was, I think it was Raw. But anyways, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal was a champion. And right. Actually, that was a really good experiment. Mm-hmm. Like, was it a good championship run? What well, anything that gives you like the, it, it anything can an happen edge. feel? Yeah, and that's either like we gave Jinder Hall the Hall belt. What's gonna happen? Or hey, here's Kane Velasquez. What's gonna yeah. happen? And by the way, Fox News cares. Oh God, that's the discussion. Remember, remember uh, how many Fox Sports microphones did you see throughout the evening? Oh, a lot. Right? A lot. I mean, if that and doesn't tell you what's happening here, mm -hmm. and not only that, you have uh, you have. You have old, you have guys like Tyrus, 
coming back. <laughs> doing a wait, okay, doing wait, 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 wait. Spot. C- coming back, I don't know. Doing a spot so, because he works for Fox yeah, News. Yeah, no, no, just by chance. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then I was like, oh hey, that Tyrus guy, he's doing a thing. And then everybody's like, oh yeah, you should see what Tyrus is doing. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Um, it's not good at all. It's uh, you it's know, like really bad. Not to get political on here, uh, but uh, oh, don't show me that. I don't want to see that, wait, producer the, Missy. Oh, oh that. <laughs> Why are, you, why are we showing that? Uh, but anyways, oh, Chris oh, Russo no, no is way. coming back around. Is he coming for us? Oh no! Is, there we go. He saw you an empty seat. Here he is, Chris Larusso, the heir apparent. Gentlemen, how's is it going? It, oh, I need to turn you up. Oh. There we go. Let's let's turn Gentlemen, you on check, over check, here. Check. One two. There one, we two, go. One, two, we're up. Okay, awesome. Chris Larusso, the heir apparent. Thank uh, you for having me once great again. Great match on a, Sunday, by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you. That, um, was, a, that it was, was a lot of fun. Some the, good uh, wrestling. The Young Lebanon some, Dawn. Some money throwing. Um, some. <laughs> well, it's Black Diamond, and anything can happen to Black Diamond. I mean, I mean, you know what? You got got paid in wrestling, however you can. And I don't. I don't. So, so uh, the Lebanon Dawn, Joey Moses, like this is the second time I've seen him try to bribe the ref. Like in you know, front, it's been, it, in front undefe- of all of us, he is undefeated in IWC. Really, he is yeah. undefeated. I don't know anybody who has started their IWC career from the school yeah. with such an impressive record. Really? So you know, are you, you're saying are you saying the uh, IWC officials are easily bought? Um, you know, I'm saying that if Justin Plummer paid his officials slightly better, I think that you know that would that would uh, help uh, dissuade some accusations of corruption yeah, and yeah, of, yeah, uh, true. Uh, of bias true. officiating. Okay, uh, okay. Although you know we do have what I would say is the the best officiating crew right now in the area with CJ Sensation and uh, you know Potter. So mm-hmm. Potter, who Potter, who's I think next to um, oh God, I'm gonna. I'm gonna screw up now. If I forget people, people are gonna be angry. Sean Patrick's a fantastic official. Oh yeah, gotta put over. Just saw him Saturday night at KSWA too. Absolutely, and uh, you know, no longer on the independents, but another official I gotta put over is Bryce Remsburg. Jeez, yes, yes. You know, uh, one of the the best refs in the in the game, and. Hopefully we see some high quality officiating and wrestling here tonight. It, that, is, that is an interesting phenomenon. I can't remember uh, before the last several years being excited to see referees on TV. You know, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Drake Younger, of course, of CZW. He's been a, he's been a, a second in uh, you know, WC. I, I'm amazed that like they haven't done more with with, with Drake's uh, past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I always thought that the fact that like. He he, had he was that, he was hardcore. Oh, he was he very was hardcore. Death I, like, if, if any ref was going to go through a pane of glass, <laughs> or <laughs> oh, you know, we're waiting for it, or, or something, it, it, it would have to be Drake Younger. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Jessica Carr, I know we talked with her. Um, I can't remember what his, her old name was, but we talked to her. When uh, still on Jesse the uh, K something. Uh, no, that was a different one. I no, think. No, no. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find it here in a second. Uh, but anyways, or uh, Aubrey, uh, Coach Aubrey, who I didn't oh, know yeah. about this. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Ref Aubrey uh, on AEW. She's coming from the video game industry. Mm-hmm. Yep. I didn't mm-hmm. know that. I just I just listened to. Uh, thank you, Tina, for uh, sharing that interview uh, with her from uh, uh, the mm-hmm. past week. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, with Nat and Bryce, and um, I think uh, no- uh, was it Knox? Knox? Knox is mm-hmm. from uh, Lucha Underground, I think. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, Kennedy official. Brink. That was her. N- Kennedy, yeah, Ken- Kennedy Brink. Yeah, Kennedy Brink. I have, I, yeah. Can I tell you a, a funny story? I think I may have said this on the Mayhem Show at one point. Mm. Kennedy Brink. Okay. So I was at a uh, Ring of Honor trial camp, and I was crashing at Cheeseburger's place. Okay, which so is, the, which is an amazing sentence to begin with. So it was uh, myself, Cheeseburger, uh, a wrestler by the name of Cauliflower Brown, and Kennedy Brink. And you know, being gentlemen, Kennedy got the uh, got the air mattress, and I was crammed on the couch with uh, Cauliflower Brown. So I remember waking up in the morning. And looking over to my direct right, and there is the the lovely Kennedy Brink, and I'm like, there are worse ways to wake up. And I look over to my direct left, and there's Cauliflower Brown. <laughs> it's like, there it is. Worst threesome <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oops. Which of course, okay, but before that gets that no. We were just, just sleeping in the same room, but... Yeah, as you do in a, a purely yeah, platonic pro mm-hmm. wrestling uh, travel situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so, again, we're talking about kind of the uh, the big week that was here. And, uh, Producer Missy, do you have something to say here? Go ahead and tell us the conversation there. I have a question for you. 
Okay. Uh, so we're talking about the <laughs> we're talking about this big uh, Wednesday night war, big premiere week. Yep. Uh, what 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 are your thoughts kind of coming out of this first week, whether it be the Wednesday night war or kind of that premiere week in general? I, I thought it was great. I thought that both uh, NXT and AEW put on phenomenal performances. I thought the first week of TV was uh, really 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 well done on both mm-hmm. ends. I think they both had a plan. Uh, I think they both definitely uh, had something they wanted to get across to the fans and a message that they wanted to get across and who they were and their identity and, and whatnot. And I think they did an excellent job of uh, of pushing that because you you knew, when you watch the first thirty seconds of both shows, yeah. I'll say maybe the first five minutes to include the promos and the intro. You knew exactly what these shows were about. You know exactly what they were trying to get across. A lot of setting the tone. They really set the tone well. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that uh, you know NXT. I I, I think has uh, you know, and everyone's saying that 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 you know OAEW is the new thing. What about NXT being told with under three months notice? Hey. Uh, not only are you on the USA Network, you're now going head to head with the stiffest competition in over a decade, mm-hmm. and you're going to be the the tip of the spear in this war. Best yeah. of luck to you. Get to work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, so so you can say what you will about WWE or about the you know the evil empire. NXT didn't didn't ask for this no. and really stepped up in a very short period of time to put on high quality shows to get ready to go to national television. Um, you know, so you got to give uh, you got you got to give NXT a, a, a ton of credit. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone's talking about AEW as the as the the, the new hotness, and, and perhaps rightfully so. But let's give some love to to NXT for for what they had to go through in a very short period of time. Absolutely, mm-hmm. so. and in both shows they just killed it, and, and NXT just again proved their. Uh, worth <laughs> and, and what I, I mean we, everybody gets to see Paul's show you know and I think that's awesome yeah. you know, again as the focus is shifting with, with Smackdown on, on, on uh, Friday nights and, and like okay how much live wrestling can I watch in a week uh, and still have a life let's be honest about this as wrestling is basically our life but anyways but uh, it's, it, it is interesting it's like, it's like what am I doing on Mondays now <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's great and you know I thought that I mean, I was obviously disappointed the way the Kofi match ended. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I, I was I was hoping that we because you know Kofi wrestled Brock before in Japan. Yeah. And uh, I was hoping we'd sort of see something. I, 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 what I assumed we would see was that. I didn't even notice like an allusion to that either. Like I, I like it wasn't discussed. They just these guys have met before. This is happening. You know, it, it's like the Beast in the East was uh, was a big event. Yeah. That, that was also Balor and uh, uh, Steen. For uh, excuse me, uh, Owens. Yeah. Uh, for uh, I think uh, it was for the a NXT title. At the Finn's time. first uh, win. Yeah, title, and, and in Japan. In Japan, uh, where he was just coming off being big over there. So. So you know, I thought that that was a. Um, I believe that show also featured. Correct me if I'm wrong. Chris Jericho and Pac. Oh yeah, it did. I think it did. It did. Uh, Adrian Neville at the time. Adrian Ooh. Neville at the time. I don't know. Maybe he had a first name. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I I think that that Matt, if you a hey, maybe that's just, that's worth a, a little bit of a, a deep dive to go back to what's that under pay per views network special? Oh, we might be getting ready to go oh, on the air. So. I think oh. they might be. I think they might be. Oh, Hank is on the move here. Oh, uh, maybe just uh, we might be just talking to people. I don't Hank's know. Hank's be- uh, one of the best wrestling announcers enough, in the biz. I believe our bell period. time is seven thirty. We're gonna hang on here in the live stream until it gets too too noisy. Uh, well, I, I definitely want to watch this uh, pre show match. I yes. Have a, I have yes. a vested interest in that. <laughs> so we'll see what's going on here. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. Always love being on the Mayhem Show. And let's g- send it to Hank Hudson. All right. <laughs> it's now time. Excellent. Oh, they are going Good to their play show. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Uh, we are live uh, currently at Pit Fight. It is intermission. It is now uh, the time where uh, we usually go live on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, actually, if you guys are joining us on the live stream. But it doesn't matter to all of us of you out there on the podcast. So, uh, Riz is with me still. I'm Uh, still here. We saw an amazing first half. We just had the 36-minute gauntlet match. Yep. That which I, I gotta say, um, there was some some exciting stuff. I noticed some stuff that you were you were excited for. Some interesting matchups. I mean, I was excited for like we just saw a mix of all of Pittsburgh's yeah 
top stars. That's the greatest thing about charity shows like yeah. this, right? Because everybody's kind of getting their own territories, you know, and, and working with different, like, mm -hmm. you know, we're kind of sitting here saying, oh, hey, this guy was trained by this guy, this guy was trained from this guy, yeah. this is one of this guy's guys, you know. Um, one of the matchups, which uh, I don't know if I've seen it before, but I, I, I'd like to see it again, uh, Chris LaRusso and Lee Moriarty going at it. But I think Lee Moriarty and, and uh, Chris LaRusso were uh, one and two in that that. Rumble, uh, the, the gauntlet match. The gaunt yeah, the gauntlet I think it's match. a Bobcat ga gauntlet match. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Everything's, everything's named after. Hey, did you know that University of Pittsburgh Greensburg has a different mascot than the main campus? Yeah, I know. What is up with that? They isn't there, isn't they, every Penn State the damn Nittany, Nittany Lion? No. That's what I learned in wrestling this I don't, week. I don't, think, I don't think every Nittany Lion is in Penn State. Well, well, I'm not, no, well, not Penn every, State, never, every, every Penn State every, campus is, is, is I, in, I don't know enough about yeah. that. I don't know about uh, Christian Noir is here. Do you want to get on a live mic, sir? Okay, go ahead and pick one up. He was uh, in that first round of the uh, the uh, gauntlet match. There, first you took hand. on one David Lawless. Yep. Uh, I think yeah. It was it was an, it was intense. Like uh, I knew Lawless was in the building, mm -hmm. and I know he was complaining about he wasn't on pit fight, and then he basically bought his way in, or basically just threatened to sue somebody. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, down south, we don't we don't threaten to sue nobody. It's like, look, if you got a problem, you show up, you don't whine, you don't complain, and he, I'll give him that. He asserted himself. He came in. He, he threw. He threw a couple good ones. Okay. But okay. I came out on top. No questions asked. I didn't do anything shady. That's a fact, right? Right. Did right. I do anything right. shady? Um, I, I gotta say though, um, I think I think they love they liked your tongue here. Yeah. Ew. They, they, that was. I mean, got a big reaction from the tongue. <clears throat> That's because nothing here is but nothing but. Horny college girls. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, look at them. They're I, okay. Like a good six out of ten on a great day with makeup. <laughs> What's that? I yeah, I don't know. You might. He's, he's knocking over Kali. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, Riz is gonna get upset. Well, Kali knocked himself over yeah, in his career. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's that is true. also true. That is true. He's like a he's like a king in. He doesn't have any knees, there you go. so it's kind of. I know, I, I mean, know. That's like, he I just mean, came by and and we, and we started he talking just about his around and it's right. Missy doesn't have, doesn't like black people on your thing. Oh, uh, hey, hey. But she I, loves I'm me. not gonna speak to her upbringing. Um, but yeah, in Canada, you've heard her. A boot. I don't know. She's mean to me. She uh, she brought. I don't. She put a praying mantis on me. Oh yeah, the praying mantis night. Chris, were you there for the praying the mantis night? The, I don't think I was the epic, there for the that. The epic praying mantis night. I missed that part. I'm not a big fan of insects. I'm not scared of anything, but I don't like insects. So, <laughs> and apparently in Pennsylvania, it's a law. Excuse me. Uh, you have my seat. Oh, your dick is like 100 percent next to me. Don't care. <laughs> You can get up, you're fine. You can get up and lose. Just like right there. So Maybe. real star can sit here and sit uh, whatever spooky grave you call it, okay? Halloween, not quite here yet. Yeah, a little so bit of a confrontation I'm here. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go because I have to go take a dump. Then I'm gonna come back later and I'm gonna bite your dick off. And I'm gonna see yeah. what happens. Are you gonna yeah, bleed no. to death okay. or am I gonna beat you to death? All right. Okay. Okay. I don't know. All right. I don't I think, think I've touched ever... base with science on that one, I guess. Uh, um, how did you even stand that, by the way? I, it was, uh, it was so whatever that was. That was, it was, it was, it was, comes it was frightening. Oh, it, it was very Yo. frightening. Nobody wants you here. Uh, first time debut Wrestling Mayhem show, yeah. the trophy boy, Tyler Klein. We've been having uh, fun with your gifts lately. Uh, hey, Chris Russo's here. How'd you change so quick? Uh, that was yeah, quick. No. That was really quick. It's, yeah. He got kicked in the face a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. So, what what are you doing here? Me? Sir. What? I mean, I'm, I'm a guest. I'm yes. surprised. Yes. There's a whole good reason why I'm here. I mean, come on. It's they, so they, they saw me. They saw me working in the area. They saw what I can do. Obviously, they saw my style, which everybody has. As it, you know, uh, Tyler Tyler Klein here is a guy that I started seeing on social media. Um, I don't know a couple months ago, and then it seemed like and, and we we chatted like briefly, and I was like, "Hey, I hope I see you on some shows soon." Yeah. And now you're booked on every damn show I'm at. Well, I mean, <laughs> I can't help it. Sorry. 
I mean, they have to have like the brightest star there. They have to have the most fashionable person there. I mean, I make all my own stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why I have all my designs. I'm a designer, professional wrestling. Um, interesting that happens uh, that some of the fans in the Mayhem universe may be interested in. Um, you have a personal coat rack at many of the shows. Oh, yes. Um, I'm a little disappointed because I don't see her here tonight. It is a Tuesday night. Well, yeah, but I think her friend's here, so maybe I might utilize a different oh. coat rack since she's not here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, That's okay. Jealous coat racks but much. I can't help but notice, especially since we talked the other day, about the pictures you have a tendency to capture of me, Sorg, because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, flatter. Okay. Very flattered because you caught one of my best sides, but I, there was a wiggle. There was a wiggle, Riz. I don't know if you saw the wiggle. I didn't see the wiggle. Yet. There's a wiggle. Oh, there's a wiggle. Um, and, and, listen, I understand what works for all audiences. What? I understand what works for all audiences. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, I do too. I know my audience. That's the thing. So. <laughs> and I see your Instagram and make sure we're lined up with it. Oh, man, we're getting like a lineup over here. Um, so so you have, you're have you like recently re returned to the Pittsburgh area, correct? Yes. With pro wrestling. I actually debuted my Pittsburgh. Yes. I actually debuted in the Pittsburgh area here at their last show. Really? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I mean, I convinced them to be the 16th man in a 15-man battle royal. I mean... If you saw the rest of that battle royal, that's you like would a, understand. That's like a baker's dozen ro uh, rattle royal. What? That's like a baker's dozen rat battle yeah, royal. Exactly. So. I mean, you save the best for last. Yes. Exactly. So how's the, so how's the uh, area been treating you? You've been around it, uh, what, six months now? Let's see. It's like, you've been in a casket match. Well, the good news... Oh, yeah, okay, well, we're not going to talk about that one. I mean... I felt, I felt in that one, I did feel that I wasn't as appreciated as I should have been. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. I mean, he was looking, for, Bronco was looking for gory. Yeah. And let's face it, he had this in front of it. He could have paid a little bit more attention to this. Okay. And he, well, should have, because I did get him in there and I did beat him. If it wasn't. What did you learn from your first casket match? My, what did I learn? Yes. Well, let's see. What did I learn from the cast match? Uh, I learned that just going through your footage, mm -hmm. and my butt looks really good in my trunks. Okay. Just saying, All right, that's something. Look, I look amazing. I look amazing right. in that. All right. I'm glad, I'm glad we have them there for analysts. Uh, Ronnie Stark. Wait a minute, you. Is looking. Um, hang on. Okay. Weren't you the loser that I smacked yesterday? You hit me really hard. I did. You hit, okay. you hit me really hard. You deserved it. You actually busted me open. Did you know that? I did. <laughs> I mean, I can tell that I made an improvement on the face. Oh. oh. It, it's funny because I got home and I literally had blood, dry yeah, blood right here. I'm like, you take a hike. Oh. Good luck. Oh, oh. oh. Gross you broke it. What do you here? Put the mic down. First off. I'm not just a nerd, I'm the nerd, thank you very much. I don't know if you know who I am, but no. let me, allow me Quite to honestly, introduce I'm too myself. I'm to give a damn about you. So. Name's Bro, aka the Bro Nomaly, aka your mom's favorite wrestler. Remember that, because I'm always going to be around. I don't even like my mom. I like your mom a lot. That's sad. I, if you that's, could that's, see my mom, you'd understand why. But um, you okay. know what? Okay. I usually it's see her after night. It's a little night, so crowded, uh, and I don't have enough time to make over okay. all of this okay. Ooh, and whatever that is. All right. So, well, maybe we'll have to have you back to make over Riz oh, here. Yeah, you know, Riz, I, mean, I, need I, need I mean, Riz has to be on the prowl and uh, and uh, you know. I mean, being affiliated with Twitch now, I need I need yeah, all the work I can on get. that affiliate. -ness. Well, I mean, you can't get much bigger star than me, so oh, okay. we'll, we'll see. Okay, okay. good. And you you had the walking glitter bomb, but you did okay invite the bro anomaly. Uh, oh, well, oh, now it's going to get well, personal. You might want to move over. Over. Come, Come on, on over. over here. Come on over here. Come on over. I know you don't get on camera much, but I am. This, I'm not new to this. <laughs> God, bro, boys, he what is their problem? Uh, uh, bro, Hemeth, you were in the first match. I think the yes, first official yes, match yes, of the show here. Yes, yes, I'm so here. glad to be in big fight. You had a three-way. All right, we're well, on five Let me rephrase. Phrasing. Phrasing. I step Peyton Graham hey, and Mambo, you, hey. Ma Mambo Italiano gave me a fight, but the bro normally is going to Bobcat Brawl. That's there right, man. There you go. And not only am I in Bobcat Brawl, I have the coveted last spot. So you know what that means. Bro's about to be at the pit fight title spot. You feel me? 
It's my time. There you go. There you go. You're you're you're, you're uh, uh, laying waste all over. I know you've been uh, in contention, had the belts for a bit over at KSWA. Just saw you in a great match that ended up uh, being an eight-man tag out there at KSWA up in Lower Burl, um, as well as uh, we'll see you, we'll see you uh, on the internet live on the Fight Society uh, Facebook page this Friday as well. Uh, I can't wait to dance with Fight Society. What's up, Brandon K? <laughs> Brandon K. Come on, we're talking with a bro, but come on, yeah. come on, yeah, sit down, Brandon. Yeah. We're talking to your wife earlier on the show, so we might as well. So she I want, first I want to talk to you, Rise. We're, we're covering the whole weekend. We're talking to bro about Friday night. I want to talk to you about Rise this Saturday in a moment here. Right. Uh, but bro, like, like, what's coming up on Friday? Friday night, uh, uh, Fight Society. Friday night, I go one on one with the East Coast Killer, Dean Radford. I can't Ooh. wait for you guys. It's gonna to be amazing. There's a lot of punching. There's a lot of just devastating clotheslines that are gonna happen. It's the match. I didn't know I wanted to see a fight society. Well, last time me and Radford stepped in the ring, we had Doe in the mix as well. And that's how uh, I got screwed out of the PWX Contenders title. But this is a one on one fight. Radford knows my. I know Radford. Radford was one of the longest reigning champions in PWX history. But fight society is bro's playground. So I ain't one to back down. I doubt he is. So come Friday. We come to blows and we see who's the big man of the Fight Society. Looking for to reinforce that ring. I'm pretty sure they did. If not, I oh, can't man. make no promises for the rest of the show. That's going to be a hard hitting match, man. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one, and we gotta get you back in the studio, get you in with Riz Plays Games. And we gotta get Brandon in on this video game plan, by the way. Oh, I would love oh, to do that. Yes. I see you guys doing that. I'm like, that looks so much fun. There you go. I mean, Culture Pop Podcast. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. That's do a collaboration episode. Yeah, yeah. Do it. That'd be great. I'd that's love why, it. Whenever I'm doing like a road trip of like two hours or more, I'm just like, all right, get some Culture Pop in. You know, what are we talking about lately? Yeah. Like, so you're the guy I was, yeah, I was listening <laughs> around. I had a good listen. I was catching up with your episodes around when you were hating on uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. And and, uh, and uh, a little bit of just questioning Detective Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> I still think I gave it a seven, though. I feel. You did, yeah, no, you gave it somehow. How did you give Detective Pikachu? Wow, great. Like a better rating than Captain Marvel. <laughs> like, wow. let's talk about that for a minute. Forget these, wrestling. These ratings aren't very professional. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Every time I rate something, the next day I'm like. No, that probably wasn't the right rating. <laughs> but it's out there. It's on the internet Cisco on record. Are, are getting upset. You're stepping on their toes. <laughs> yeah. We got Joker uh, tomorrow. We'll drop it. But, oh, my uh, God. I can't wait to hear. I yet. cannot wait to hear your, not your thoughts on Joker. I'm really excited hell. to dig it, into that. I hear it's amazing. It is something else. Um, <laughs> so again, uh, we we have uh, we have uh, uh, Rise Wrestling with a Y. We have to qualify that. <laughs> we talk about both. Um, oh, Andrew Palace is being chased by a small child. Yeah, a small child. No, Where does he get all his energy? I have no idea. Oh my god! If I had a quarter of it, I'd be excited. <laughs> uh, but uh, you guys got Rise uh, this Saturday night, of course. Rise of Contender. You are actually uh, taking on uh, Derek Direction. Yep. First time ever in a one-on-one. Yes. Yes, sir. And I like Derek. Don't get me wrong. He don't seem like it when we're out there, but he's a really good wrestler. He's fantastic. When, when he's not submitting long promos uh, for you to watch in, per in person. He likes to talk. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I he talks a little too much, so we're going to have to shut him up Saturday. That was a lot of fun. Um, and, of course, Rise of the Contenders happening. A lot of great yep. stuff happening at Rise. A lot of good. It's going to be a great, great show. Uh, a lot of great energy down there in Connellsville. Um, again, one of the coolest venues, like, in an old theater, you know, and you guys really play it up. But use that big screen to good effect. Yeah, I love it. So, <laughs> looking yeah, forward to it. We can only play video games with that thing. <laughs> yeah. You know we uh, want to do a video game tournament on the big screen. Yes. And almost like a pro wrestling event, the winner gets a championship Ooh. and defends it every month. Mm -hmm. I, okay. We're mm -hmm. playing with that idea. We've been playing with it for a while. I have so many irons in the Bro prize. has the Xbox Game Pass, just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I got that, that the whole Gears of War franchise. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you technical people have to help me out. I know there will be a, like a delay from the... So you guys have to help me make oh, it we, work. We can work through those. We can we 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 can talk. Okay. Yeah, we can talk about that Perfect. and how that works. Perfect. Um, I wanted to ask you about because even just uh, here tonight, you had like I was realizing as you guys were up against um, uh, 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 Calvin and RPW and uh, was it uh, Dustin Devine? Was that who that was? What's the last thing you said? Who was the last? Who's the third guy that was coming back? Uh, Devin Devine. Devin Devine. Which you. inside baseball, he was one of my first ever students when I was really? training back in the day. Yeah. Wow. Well, I realized on your side it was you, Marshall Gambino, and QB Blue. 
blitz, and knowing that QB uh, assisted uh, his son, actually, uh, for those that don't know, from, you know, involved you know Kyle that that was on here uh, helping promote this show. Yeah, uh, it was like it was like it was the team of the local promoters. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> I didn't Marshall think of that. with two PW, you with Rise, you know. Yeah, I, I was just like like is this wait is this is this like a power play kind of thing going on here? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. But <laughs> Well, good to see that. I mean, when do you when do you see like you know literally like three people that are like putting on wrestling shows in the same match on the same side, <laughs> and we won. So. Hey, there you go. That means Pittsburgh wrestling wins. Well, uh, Hank is uh, going back to the show here, so uh, we it's about time to head back. Yeah, yeah. yeah time Thanks to head for, uh, back. Thank you, you guys so much. Oh. And uh, uh, we go check out Rise Wrestling. Check out Fight Society. Check out everything with Pit Fight. Uh, I believe this show will be on Armstrong Cable's uh, YouTube page, like much the first one was yep. so you can keep an eye out for that one if you're local i think it'll be on their network as well so i know i know you guys have been working with armstrong cable a lot yes. with your promotions around rise yep, they well. do the rise report for us and it's a great it's a great thing yeah. that's awesome they're awesome i want to be on cable yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, i got beat up it seems Anybody like everybody's want. on cable these days right you know so. all right we're gonna be cutting out here so thank you so much guys for joining thank us you guys. it's a wrestling man show live at Pit fight and uh, Riz before we go back here and watch the action. Our friends, the STDs, are coming in the ring right now. It's Billy Ruxman, uh, Corey Futuristic, and Chess Flexor. Uh, Tatiana Rose is cleaning up stuff over here for OSHA. Uh, it's, it's, it's madness here. Riz, before we leave, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I just love wrestling. I love, like, that's perfect. Yes. I mean, you think about what happened this like past Wednesday. Mm -hmm. you don't even think about what happened Sunday. Can you hurry up back to your seats? We have something very it's, it, And it just was one of those things where you just go with the good parts of wrestling. We drove all the way out here. What did you learn from wrestling? Um, I learned. I learned from wrestling this week. Um, I, I learned. I learned that uh, um, wrestling sets are fragile. Very fragile. As, uh, the Wayward Sons tore, literally tore down the very floor, uh, uh over at Black Diamond, and uh, and uh, maybe we should do live spots more often. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. If this is fun for you guys on the audio side. I really did love. Like, I really like like the live event today. This is a lot of fun. We're literally right here. Kali has fallen down. You probably heard that on audio. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. This has been the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I know we didn't get anything, but please support our friends at Slice on Broadway, uh, Psychic Media Services, and check out IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network, and PittsburghWrestling.com. We'll be back in studio for the regular show next week. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.